Mm -hmm. Uh, There's this thought. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, Being subject for the same offense to be twice put in jeopardy of life or limb. Yeah. Um, And then there's the idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of uh, being uh, arrested. Yeah. And having a trial. Yeah. Known as amendment number six. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, um, not living in Washington State on July, until August, actually until July, January 7th, yeah. Um, there's this idea that in your concern for the safety of the petitioner and the minors named, yeah, um, it has to be an arrestable offense for violating the restraint provisions, yes. Now, um, when I'm not here and there's already a no contact order issued, yeah, and I'm on probation. Yeah. Uh, you had an obligation to enforce the conditions of the probation. Mm-hmm. Now, I had called Healthy Families of Clallam County trying to explain that to them. Yes. As well as, uh, what's it called, uh, the conditions uh, of the evaluation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, for some reason, somebody thought, well, we can issue these protection orders. Yes even though we know that we can't arrest the person because they're in a different jurisdiction. Yeah. You know, I'm going to want to sue you today. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to want to sue you to the point that you're going to have an obligation to purchase all your firearms from me. Yes. And I'm going to make sure they're the safest mm-hmm. firearms that you've ever purchased. And for that taser comp- company, yeah. Why don't you get me those? Because... It should not be leaking. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're sitting in a patrol car. Yes. You're going to investigate certain crimes. Yeah. And the thought was, well, I have a large amount of this lithium ion battery energy Mm -hmm. connected to myself. Yeah. That keeps amping me up. Now, um, I just wanted to mention to those that are employees. Yes. That there's an obligation to shine a light on governmental fraud. Yes. I think it's fraudulent. To issue a protection order where there's no possibility of enforcing it. Yes, because the individual doesn't live in the state. Right. Since it's 13,000 miles away. Yes. There was no way I could have uh, in any way violated the no contact provisions of the probation. And as soon as you possibly could have issued it would be been after the probation had ended. Yes. But it would have required a new accusation of domestic violence or child abuse. Mm-hmm. A new 911 telephone call. Yes. My husband's trying to hurt me and the kids. Mm-hmm. Now, at that time, law enforcement would have been obligated to investigate me mm-hmm. for this new accusation of domestic violence and child abuse. Now, uh, these whistleblowers known as government employees, yeah, uh, there's some serious abuses of power going on, yes, where I as a father inform you that I wasn't a resident, yes, I was already on probation, Mm -hmm. I had tried to contact healthy families about the conditions of the probation, right, and they made up a fraudulent police report of me attempting to contact the petitioner through them, oh, 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 now, I was on trial, yes, while on probation, after you'd reissued the protection order, yes, when you had no jurisdiction to issue it. (coughs) I'd like you to remove all your fraud and your abuse today. Mm -hmm. Now, this idea, right, I put this in uh, yellow highlight, yeah. Uh, This is a picture of Marilyn Mm -hmm. from her Facebook profile, Uh uh-huh. The picture in the Rotary Newsletter is not Marilyn. Oh, I want to speak to Marilyn, so if you would enforce the laws, yes, I would like to sue and have prosecuted the sheriffs of Clallam County, yes, the police of Clallam County, yes, and the employees of the city of Port Angeles and Squim, yes, the employees of Clallam County, yes, the employees of the local tribal government known as the LWA, right now! Jamestown, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, the Macaw, 
and then the state of Washington. Yes. Now, Maryland, yes, is being abused and exploited. Oh, uh-huh. And since the police know where I live, where I'm making this video right now, mm -hmm. I wanted you to make that happen before today. Yes. Because I want to try you, the police department, for war crimes. Yes. Yes, yes. Now, this idea that this woman, yes, mm-hmm, okay, mm-hmm, uh, is not allowed to speak to me for three and a half years, yes, because of the fraud and abuse of her husband, Mike Van Proyen, true. Now, when I report the exploitation of Maryland, yes, as domestic violence, yes, because that picture of Susan Bowers is not Maryland Van Proyen, mm-hmm. I would have thought that there was an obligation for a mandatory arrest of reported domestic violence. Mm. Now, it looks like the police and sheriff's departments have refused to arrest Mike Van But the law requires a mandatory arrest for the reported domestic violence. Yes. Now, you say that, well, he can put a picture of anybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if it's Marilyn or not. Yes. It's not domestic violence, even though she did or did not consent for the use of her name and image right now. Mm -hmm. See, we have what's known as the mandatory arrest. Yes. That is not being enforced for those in law enforcement. Oh, oh, oh. The mandatory arrest that is not being enforced for those that are pastors. Oh, that's right. We have what's known as the mandatory arrest. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a forgery. Yes. Mm -hmm. You cannot use forgeries of any party of any court order, inclusive uh, of Heidi Lee Budner. Oh, oh, I asked you to do a forensic handwriting evaluation. Yes, of every document signed of my supposed wife. Instead, you decided to arrest me for numerous crimes. Yes, that I had no involvement in because of a fake perpetrator. Right, a, a fake victim was it Heidi Budner? Right now, right now. Then there's the fake, uh, oh, the fake judiciary. Yes, mm -hmm. the fake law enforcement. Ouch! You know, the two count criminal complaint where there is the accusation of domestic violence. Yes, it's nice that you can go through the prosecuting attorney's office in Jefferson County. Yes, accusing somebody of domestic violence, violating the contact provisions of the restraints of the protection order. Yeah. But you didn't have to investigate me. Mm -mm. There was no mandatory arrest. No. No, no. You could just send me a notice to the wrong address. Right. Mike Van Proyen gets the notice. And I get arrested and transported across county lines. Yes. Now, can you use a criminal complaint for any and all crimes? Yes. Because if it says mandatory arrest for the reporting of. Yeah. Domestic violence. Oh. It could be that I could sue every prosecuting attorney's office right now for having any knowledge of prosecuting attorneys using criminal complaints for the accusation of domestic violence. Pew. Now, it had to be probable cause. Yes, yes, yes. I happen to be sitting right in front of the Masonic Temple on June 16th of 2017. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You could have driven up there mm -hmm. said, Paul, where are you at? <laughs> I'm right where I'm sitting. That's right. Now, mm -hmm. can a prosecuting attorney's office use criminal complaints? Yes. For the accusation of the violating of every law? No. Can you use it for the accusation of violating the restraint provisions of a protection order? Mm -hmm. Not according to the literature that I'm reading. <laughs> 